So let's look uh, a little more detail about a potential and amount. Okay, let's change back to say uh, yellow. Okay, so suppose you have a potential and let's use electric potential. So this is psi, so this would be electric potential. And this is some uh, coordinate, some Cartesian coordinate x. And suppose you have electric potential that looks like this. And now we have an electron here. That's a charge. The electron sees the same potential no matter where it is. And so it'll just sit there. There'll be no driving force for it to go. And in fact, we'll see this is one of the definitions, more precise definitions of equilibrium. There's no gradient in potential. Let's now look where well, you have a gradient in potential. Here you have electric potentials high there and low there. And let's put an electron here at this particular position. What's going to happen? The electron is going to go from a high potential down to a low potential. And as it does that, it does work. So it moves from one place to another. This essentially is how a battery works. There's a potential difference across the battery. Electrons like to go from high potential to low potential. So there you go. So we'll uh, look at those in more detail. But that's another way of looking at variables as one variable, the intensive is a potential. And then you have something extensive, which depends on amount. And those two will give you the amount of work. And these variable variables occur in terms of uh, natural pairs.